I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. I'm the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Jesus is the Good Shepherd. Good Shepherd Sunday. It's either this week if you are in the traditional lectionary or next week if you're in the three-year series. Um, but both days have Jesus talking about what good shepherds are or how good shepherds are. And the fact that he is the good shepherd sort of implies the bad shepherds all around. We have a sort of romanticized shepherds in our day as if, you know, um, it was sort of a noble task when it was sort of like being the garbage men of the ancient world. Unreliable. There are a lot of bad shepherds out there. It was a humble calling. Well, garbage man's a little rough, but it was a hum humble calling. Um, but it was also a, a, a calling that some not nice people would do. Because if you had your minimum wage job and you had the wolf coming to eat the lambs, which would you choose? And seeing that there was really no computer or reference system, you could just go to the next town, you know, 30 miles over, and begin again. At least you lived to tell him to live to watch sheep another day. He is a good shepherd. He repeats it over and over again what that means. He lays down his life for the sheep. He puts the sheep's lives in front of his own. There were mad shepherds. That was awful. But you get it. He was a good shepherd. And that was defined by his laying down his life on the cross. See, the good shepherd goes through the sheep and he goes through the front door. The, the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. He comes that we want to have life and have it forgiven. That's what abundantly means. Abundantly doesn't mean, I'll go to all the money. It's not about the money, money, money. It's about the forgiveness achieved by his laying down his life for us, delivered to us in his words. His sheep hear his voice and they know him. They follow him. They won't follow someone else out of the sheep pen. They'll follow him out of the sheep pen because he knows his own. He lives for them. He dies for them. He knows his father and he knows the ones he lays down his life for. And he's got other sheep, not just Jews, that he dies for. Gentile sinners like you and me who weren't born in the family of God, but who have been familyed in by the good shepherd who lays down his life for them. His life, snatching us from the wolf. His, the sheep are scattered when the shepherd is struck. I used to think to myself, it's an interesting thing that he is the shepherd and the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. But those are two different images. For us, he is the shepherd who lays down his life protecting us. And then he's the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world who dies in our place. The spotless offering. We're not spotless lambs. In fact, sometimes we're indistinguishable from the goats. The only difference between sheep and goat are his voice. He, for the Father loves him because he lays down his life from the sheep, for the sheep. No one takes it up again. He lays it down and he repeats that over and over again. Good Shepherd Sunday is Jesus crucified for us Sunday. Jesus, who takes the sheep, throws it over his shoulder, fights off the wolves, and saves you and me from the thief who would come to steal us. A blessed Good Shepherd Sunday. I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this has been another Higher Things video short.